Brian! Good to see you, man. Yeah, how are things? Do you need help with anything? Thanks, but I'm, I'm good. Hey, man, I, I really appreciate the favor. And normally, I would have already found an apartment, but this opportunity was so sudden. I'm just so excited. Yeah, yeah don't worry about it. Um, the couch opens out into a bed, and I'll get you a pillow and a blanket. Awesome. Thanks, man. This really helps me out a lot. So how is this going to work cost-wise? Wait, what? I pay $725 a month for rent and $100 for parking. Oh. <clears throat> uh, I, I didn't realize... You thought you were going to stay here for free? I just thought you could do me a favor. I am doing you a favor. I'm giving you an apartment to eat, cook, and sleep in. Okay, but is, is a favor really a favor if you're charging me money? Do you think it's fair of you to use my shower, cook on my stove, sleep on my couch, and use my parking spot without giving me anything in return? Uh, well, I, I don't have a car, and I won't need the kitchen since the set will have plenty of food. And I suppose you won't sleep or shower either. Look, sorry. I, I didn't realize this would be a big deal. If you don't want me to stay here, I can... I, if I, I didn't want you to stay here, I wouldn't have told you you could. I just thought you'd be mature enough to not mooch off your older brother. All right, Brian. Uh, I'll just... It would be nice to have you stay here, especially since it's been so long. You don't have to pay me anything if you don't want to or can't. I mean, money is not an, an issue. Great. So, electricity costs about $30 a month, which I really don't understand because it used to be more like $13 a month until they forced all the tenants to get electricity from a new company. My parking spot downstairs, that costs about $100 a month. But at night, you're going to have to park down. It's $20 a month. 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 It's $20 Technically, two weeks is a little less than half. <clears throat> but yeah, that, that, that's fine. So for money, is it okay? Just pay I... me before you leave the apartment. Check works fine. Sounds good. I'm going to bed. All right. Good night, man. Are you going to... Turn the TV off? Yeah. When it's over in 10 minutes. I'm a really light sleeper, okay? Even with the lights off, the TV is going to keep me up. Okay. Uh, I'll finish it on my laptop. Just make sure you have the laptop facing you because if it's facing me, it's going to keep me up. Yeah. Got it. Can you stop moving around so much? I'm trying to sleep. Sorry, it's just the couch makes a lot of noise when you move around and I need to- I know. Get up early tomorrow. It's just that I need eight hours of sleep in order to function effectively and now I'm only gonna get seven and a half and I'm worked up, which means that I'm not gonna sleep for another 30 to 60 minutes and I'm gonna be tired tomorrow and I'm gonna feel like crap at work and I'm not gonna- Okay! Good night. Yeah, hi, Mom. Now's actually not a good time. I can't talk longer. Mom! 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 Seriously, Mom, my boss is gonna yell at me. Do you want me to get fired from my job? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for yelling, okay? But I really have to go. I gotta get back to my desk now. Okay, yeah, we'll talk later.
What are you doing here? Oh, uh, just got back early from the set. Yeah, the actors were on point today. How did you get here? Ah, uh, the train. You took the L. Yeah, I took the L. You took the L and now you're sitting on my bed. I'm sorry, you don't want me to sit on your bed? Do you have any idea how many people sit on those train seats every single day? Uh, no. Do you have any idea how many of them don't use proper hygiene? Look, Brian, <laughs> I'll, I'll... I didn't even mention all the bums who sleep on the train every single night and haven't bathed themselves in years. Right, you probably also don't know that the lazy cleaning service, they only clean the train once every two weeks. I read an article that on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the dirtiest, the L train ranks a 9.5. All right, it doesn't help that the seats have carpeting. Who is the moron who came up with that idea? Look, Brian, I'm sorry, just calm. You decide to go sit on that filthy seat, a seat that hundreds of people and half a dozen bums have sat on, and then you're like, why don't I go sit on Brian's bed? There must be millions of germs transferred from those seats onto my comforter. And now I have to wash that thing at least three times and just pray that all the germs are destroyed. Okay, I'll never sit on your bed again. No, you can sit on my bed. Just make sure you're wearing a clean pair of pants. Did you pay me your rent check yet, by the way? What? No, no, not yet. You said I- I said pay me as soon as you could. I'm positive we agreed I could pay you when I move out, Brian. If money is tight, I get it. Okay, I know that actors on indie sets don't make a lot. Actually, how much money do you make? Obviously not as much as you. Just fine, okay? Pay me when you leave the apartment. Okay. Great. Have you talked to mom recently? kidding me. Hey, can you turn off all the lights when you leave the apartment, please? Yeah, I already do that. No, you don't. Yesterday, you left the kitchen light on. Last night, you left the bathroom light on. And last week, you left all the lights in the living room on. Are you sure it was... Yes, I'm sure. Okay, I have a photographic memory, and I'm always very careful to turn off every single light before I leave. I'm sorry, it's not that I'm trying to be an environmentalist hipster, it's just I don't want to jack up the electricity bill. Did you take my bag of chips? No. Are you sure? Yes! Ryan! I am sure I didn't take your bag of chips! Please don't leave your laptop lying on the floor in the middle of the room. The bathroom smells really bad, was that you? Have you been leaving the DVDs out of their cases? Have you been using my laptop? Did you use my laundry detergent? Are you wearing my pants? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry! Sorry. Listen, I know that you like to watch movies, YouTube videos, and browse the internet, but it's just very distracting. Brian? No, it especially happens when you type one of your stories. Brian. I'm sorry, it's just I need to be able to focus on stuff for work, and it's really annoying. You type really hard, okay? It's just soft touches allow for the keyboard to read the message you're trying to convey. What are you doing? Are you serious right now? Did we not already have this conversation? Yeah. Do you realize how dirty you're making my bed right now? Yep. So why are you doing this? Piss you off. Wow, now you're just being an asshole. Clearly, you should talk. Clearly, you should give me a rent check, which you still owe me. Nah. Very funny. No. Seriously. I don't feel like it. No, seriously, I let you stay in my apartment. You need to pay me rent. You're charging your brother rent to stay in your apartment, and you haven't let me do anything without endlessly bitching about it. That's because you always disrespect my apartment, okay? You make a mess, you leave things around everywhere, and you never clean up after yourself. Brian, you're impossible! 
The littlest thing sets you off. You are seriously the most uptight person I've ever met. You're lazy and you're a slob. Without mom and dad, I doubt anybody could ever live with you. What about you? I doubt anyone could live with you for a month without hanging themselves. Are you kidding me? You are so ungrateful. You come into town. You don't have a life story. You're sitting in here rotting. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. What anything? Everything I say. Come stay with me. Give me everything. You haven't done anything. Ryan, grow up, Jeremy. You grew up in this. You don't know what anything I chose to come by. Let me in your home. Just without making me feel like shit. You made me come here. I'm doing what I'm doing. You're lying. 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 I'm Brian, I didn't mean to throw salt in the wound. I know. We both got carried away. I know. Brian, I thought we could- No. Brian, we need to- Stop. Stop. Please, just stop. It's been seven months, Jeremy. Thought things were gonna get better with time, but this is the worst I've ever felt. It's just gonna keep getting worse. They will until you face this. Face this? Whose fault is it that all of this even happened? Brian, that's not- Because of you? I got fired from my job? My friends think I'm insane and rot in this apartment, spending the rest of my cash. You're acting like I did this on purpose. Why do you always have to take the last shot, Jeremy? I warned you about that so many times. I wasn't even that drunk. And that idiot driver took way too sharp a turn. It wasn't completely my fault. It was- Hey, okay, it doesn't fucking matter. You still have your life. Your friends, Amy, you get to act on a film set? Who the hell is Amy? And what film set? Brian, remember what I did? I have been sitting in a jail cell for the last six months, barely working during the day not even sleeping at night, dying of boredom and depression. I'm not even up for parole for another three years. And my lawyer says I'm likely to spend double that in my cell. 